Hi there, I'm Java Jim with First Line Equipment and introducing today for 2021, we have in stock here in December of 2020, one of VBM's new espresso machines. Back in black, as you could see here, but we're gonna show you something that's a little different with this espresso machine. If you see my previous video, I saw this machine in October of 2019 in Milan, did a quick video on it, uh, worked with VBM to make some improvements, which they did, which I'm very happy about because the machine did need some improvements. And uh, I can go over that in another video. But what do we have here today is their new dual boiler espresso machine that has pressure profiling that can be programmed with the flow control and a gear driven pump. Uh, and also it has electronic dosage, which you don't really see on other machines. Uh, so what does that mean? There is no lever on the side on the group head to turn the espresso on and off, but you can measure it. The machine can measure and be programmed how much water flows through the group head and turns it off at the same time with pressure profiling that can be programmed into the machine. Just a quick overview on this particular model. Uh, we have VBM's signature E61 uh, group head. We have dual spout portafilter with a two cup basket, a single spout uh, portafilter with a single cup basket, a blind filter, a cleaning brush, a scoop, which I really don't care for, except for leveling off the amount of espresso in the basket. And just about this one cup basket, it's pretty deep. I kind of like it. Most one cup baskets are a waste. This one, we're gonna have to give it a test. Instruction manual wrapped, not gift wrapped, but wrapped. And as you probably seen in my other videos, the conspiracy with the tamper companies. Plastic tamper. I wish they would have improved this, but it gives you a selection uh, or a choice to choose the tamper of your own liking. Now, we have a plastic drip tray, stainless steel frame, nice low profile feet. Stainless steel drip tray is wrapped with a white film. Sometimes it's not. If you do, it can peel off. So sometimes it will come, sometimes it won't. Now the machine cannot be drained, uh, so it, it was not, you can't plumb it to your drain line, but you can plumb it to your water line. If you do plumb it, I ask you to wait two to three weeks in tank mode to make sure everything's working perfectly because plumbing in your machine can create issues. And using as a tank model, we know there's no issues with the machine, but an issue with the plumbing. And if you go the plumbing route, please email me, email uh, for recommendations on how to treat the water. The machine cannot use distilled purified RO or any of these formula waters out there. Uh, this year in 2020, I've seen a number of issues where people are making their own formulas using distilled water. I suggest not using that because I've seen issues from uh, PID sensors that get fouled up and is an overheat situation to refilling issues and also other issues that uh, in regards to the pump on certain machines that I've seen on the pump fouling up and even on manual flow control devices uh, where they're getting fouled up and they have to be cured with descaling. And I don't like descaling anymore. Treat the water. Now, what do we have here? Uh, we have a removable reservoir lid, comes with tape, and we have our reservoir. A little bit on the small side, but to make the machine compact, uh, I do prefer the smaller ones. Now, there is an inconvenience to having a smaller re reservoir. It means more refilling. I strongly suggest refill the reservoir outside of the machine. What happens to some customers, they're filling, they overfill, water gets into the bottom, it short circuits the machine. If you accidentally drip water through the holes that are on top, it can cause havoc. So always fill. 
And inside the reservoir in this machine, could be in the drip tray, but in this particular one, we have our direct plumb hose. So we have that there. Now, you're probably saying, geez, I don't want this all black machine. Well, we have these spots on the side here, on this side too. We have these movable magnets and we have these little plastic inserts here on the side. Just make sure not to lose these. These are loose. They are packed on the machine. I'm probably going to be asking VBM to pack these separately uh, so they don't get lost. So we want to put that, make sure they're there. And you just heard a noise. And what do we have? Stainless steel panel, but this is the inside. We have here the other stainless steel panel. And as you can see, these can come peeled or unpeeled. And make sure you have fingernails. Don't use any pliers or anything. This usually will come off. And as you can see, I'm a little slow to remove this because I usually cut my fingernails as short as possible. And let's get this started. Ooh. Ooh. Please forgive me. Basically, it's a protective coating. Like I said, sometimes they will have it. Sometimes they won't. These do get packaged separately. Into their own separate bags. They're not attached to the machine when they're shipped. Ooh. Oh man, you need some strength for this. Ooh. Probably gonna take more time to take these uh, coverings off than refilling the machine and warming it up. And then basically, there are two little hinges right here. There's magnets that are on the side and they just fit in to the top there. And now you have stainless steel. Okay, and then you can take that off. Now the magnet's stuck on this side. If you wanna take it off, just slide it off and put it here in place and there's actually another one here and I prefer actually to put them near the bottom but you can slide them on and off now what do we see here we see a nice grill for venting which is good okay heat does come up but it also vents the electronics inside the machine uh, also helps with the venting of the water tank so we do like this And I'll be right back as I have another surprise. Now, the next surprise is a light blue panel, okay, which we line up to the top here. Put that in. Voila! Nice light blue for the side panels. Let me know what other machines you can do this on. I'll be right back. And what do we have next? Beige. Put that on there. Line it up. And one that magnet snuck to the back there. Let's get that put in. Wow, look at that. I'll be right back. What do you think the next color is? Maroon to dark red. Let's check it out. Have to line them up. There we go. Beautiful, look at that. Wow. I'll be right back. And the next one, red. Just make sure the magnet is in the middle somewhere. You could spread them out, line, line it up. 
absolutely stunning. This is what makes this machine different than all others. You have your stainless steel chrome in the front and your choice of body panels. Now standard is the stainless steel body panels. The color panels are not can or and cannot be substituted for the stainless. It is an additional purchase from us and also from VBM. So they are additional cost. If you like, take your stainless steel ones. If you wanna get them painted, you could do that as well to your own custom colors. We don't do any painting here necessarily at First Line Equipment, but these options are available for the color panels. And this is phenomenal. Now, as you can see here, we're gonna move on to the multi-directional wands. Okay, steam and hot water. Turn that machine that way. Get the drip tray in. Okay, there's a low or, I'm sorry, high water indicator on the drip tray. Right here. This will pop up when it's full. So you know to remove the drip tray and empty it out. Nothing is dishwasher safe on any espresso machines. General rule of thumb. Do not put anything in the dishwasher, including the conspiracy tamper. Do not put that in the dishwasher. Nice paperweight for your desk. Now we shall move on. Water reservoir filled outside the machine. Let's get that inserted. We'll put our lid for the reservoir back on. Uh, there is a little slot here. There is no knob. Something may come in the future, but right now there's no knob. I'm assuming this is for venting, okay? Any evaporation that occurs will come out here because it possibly could be some steam or something. So there shouldn't be, but there's a venting port there. I don't think there's gonna be a knob because there's a little uh, handle right here at the back. So I don't think a knob is going in there. And let's get this machine plugged in. and turned on. See how things take so long to get done here with me? Now, the power switch is right there. We got the stainless steel body panels back on. We'll start taking off the other. Okay, if you hear the pump, it's like wham, wham. That is a gear driven pump noise. And for those who are new to our YouTube channel, welcome. And you probably don't realize, but there's nothing scripted on my videos. It's go with the flow. Ooh, that was a little easier. I think one of my magnets disappeared or two of them disappeared from the other panel. I'm gonna have to go search for them and I'll be right back. Sneaky little devils came off the machine when I took off the red panels. So if you have a little vibration here, just make sure, put the magnets back on. And if you need to move them, just slide them off. They're really, they're actually pretty strong to Pull off. Beautiful, look at that. And on the back side of the machine, it says Doma Bar. Okay, so now we're looking at about mm, 45 minute warm up time to get this machine nice and heated. Now, why 45 minutes? In Europe, they have 220 volts. 
which means power to both heating elements typically at the same time. In the USA, and this is why we ask manufacturers to send us test machines, is because we have to test at 110 volts because to work under 15 amps, or in some cases 20 amps, power goes to the coffee boiler, steam boiler, coffee boiler, steam boiler. We need to test for that, okay? So it's really important. 45 minutes warm up time, get a Wemo, watch my other video on Wemo, uh, which I did just recently. If you wanna have it start up uh, on its own, you can do that as well. Uh, so right now we're in a warm up phase and we will be back shortly. Okay, the machine's taken about 45 minutes to warm up, but it actually showed ready at the 36 minute mark, but I prefer 45 minutes minimum. It's just to make sure this group head gets piping hot. Now underneath the machine here, there is a valve right down in here and the water connection, which is right back here. So if you wanna, oop, wanna plumb it in, take the hose, which is this end right here, and this connects to your water line. Uh, we do sell ad adapters and kits uh, because this is typically BSPP fittings and it's really hard to match up with your standard national pipe thread here in the USA. So there is a lot to go over. On page 11 of the manual is a code to scan uh, to download it or a website URL or address to download the manual. And it is a whopping 46 pages of functionality. And it can be a little confusing. You will need this manual to basically understand these symbols on the display. So we will go over this in more detail on another video as this is the introduction to this wonderful and great machine uh, built by VBM. Uh, it's something different than everyone else and something uh, that we really, really like here at First Line Equipment. We've gotten a lot of positive feedback on the uh, machine. And let me get that drip tray in place, a little perfection there for me. Uh, but something to review and consider for a dual boiler, especially one with pressure profiling that's programmable. And also the amount of water that goes through your coffee grinds is programmable. So it makes it easier for some uh, folks to use, as well as in an office environment uh, and home environment. So uh, something to strongly consider because there's really nothing else in this class and price range that's gonna give you all the features with the VBMA. Dual boiler, pressure profiling, super, there's a lot of words here, electronic dosage with flow control. It's a lot of stuff. Once again, this is Java Gym with First Line Equipment. If you have any questions or comments, please ask below. Go visit the link on our website. You can ask there. You can learn more about the machine and some of the uh, uh, features of it uh, in the description. Uh, we're still building that as of today. And um, last but not least, please thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and have a great VBMA day.